morning, grade 2. How's been your holiday? Welcome back to 11. We've missed you and I hope you're good. Please always keep a good hygiene, always wash your hand. And if you are not accessible to water, try to use hand sanitizer and stay away from crowd. Be careful, stay away from people that cough, sneeze, and others. And I know with time, you'll be back to school. I miss it so much, we miss it so much. Okay, today we'll be talking about predators and prey. Predator and prey. Our last topic was about food chain. I don't even remember about food chain. And uh, so today, what is a predator? What is a prey? So let's start, let's jump in to the lesson. All right, what is a predator? Somebody will tell me, Miss, what is a predator? Predator. Now, a predator is an animal, is an animal that eats, that eats other animals. Animals. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. A predator, predator is an animal that eats other animals. You know, you remember, don't worry, you understand, but just have it in your mind that predator is an animal that eats other animals. Now, what is a prey? Prey is an animal Prey is an animal that is that is being eaten. Prey is, is the animal is an animal that eats the heat. Maybe it's that one. So you can understand, prey is an animal that eats. Predator is an animal that eats other animals. Prey is an animal that eats. Now let's look at this food chain. I told you most of the food chain start from the sun. Okay, let me let me write it a bit so that you can see. It's so easy and simple. Once you understand the food chain, you will understand this. You really understand this. I told you most of the food chain start from where? The sun. Grasses. So this is my food chain. I'm drawing a food chain for a lion. I'm drawing a food chain for a lion. Line. All right. Can you see me? Can you see the board? You should be able to see the board. So let me just start everything with the capital letter. All right. Grasses get their energy from what? From the sun. Energy. Now, cow gets energy from grasses because cow eats what? Grasses. There's energy here. Then lion eats what? Other animals. So that means lion gets energy from what? From cow. Now, look at this thing. We have the sun, we have the grasses, we have the cow and the lion. If you look at this food chain, you realize there is one animal that eats the other animal. Now, which animal eats the other animal? This is what? Lion. So this is what? The predator. Lion is a predator because he eats what? He eats cow. He eats other animal. And cow is what? The prey. Because cow is the animal being caught and being eaten. So that means lion eats cow. And uh, lion is the predator and cow is what? Is the prey. Okay, let me just do one more. Let me just do one more. Let me do one more before we go. Before we go. Let me just do one more. This is your book. Um, let me just do one more. Let me do one more. Um, let me do, okay, sun. Grasses. Just wait. Please, you're going to do your own food chain. I want to see, um, Let's do this up to. We have the sun. I told you most of the food chain start with what? The sun. Grasses get energy from what? The sun. Goat gets energy from the grasses. Tiger gets energy from what? From the goat. Now look at the, this again. Goat and the tiger. Tiger eats goat. So tiger is what? 
the predictor and goat is what the prey. In a food chain, you might have two predictors, you might have three predictors. It depends on the food chain that you're trying to draw. So in our next class, I will show you where we have two predictors, three predictors, one prey, and I think you understand better. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. If you like it, please subscribe and put a thumbs up on it. Thank you. Bye.